Will Putin launch World War III on June 26th? That is today, Monday. I'm assuming that the rebellion or insurrection by Prigozhin, leader of the Wagner Group, is totally artificial, completely bogus. Putin and Prigozhin are playing good cop, bad cop. That's where two people pretend to be enemies. They fight, but in fact, they are working together. They're on the same team. They're putting on an act. Prigozhin's rebellion against Putin is his putting on an act. And Putin calling Prigozhin a traitor is Putin putting on an act. Well, how does their little skit make any sense? It makes Russia look weak, leaderless. It creates a picture of chaos, confusion. Putin wants just such a scenario. For it makes Russia look vulnerable and therefore in danger uh, from the West. The Russian news media is already telling their people that the evil West, which is the USA and the NATO nations, uh, are getting ready to take advantage of poor Russia during this time of cri crisis. Crisis. Yes, the media is telling Russia that the West wants to victimize Russia any way it can. The Russian media is telling the people that President Putin may have to save Russia by doing the hard thing, the difficult thing, yes, by bombing America and invading Western Europe, uh, it may be necessary because the West is such a existential threat to Russia. Russia, under the communists, always try to, quote, play the victim, unquote. Here's an example. The Russian army occupied Hungary at the end of World War II. And later on, the CIA, our CIA, uh, sent uh, rifles to the Hungarians to um, help them uh, start an insurrection against the Russian occupiers, occupation. The Hungarian freedom fighters went on the to the top of skyscrapers, and from there they shot at Russians down below. This was in Budapest, the capital city. This tiny little insurrection was called the Hungarian Revolution, even though that title it was greatly exaggerated. The Kremlin, quote, play the victim, unquote, by claiming falsely that the West was fomenting revolution. A few Russians did get killed uh, by the snipers, but that was no justification for Russia to send in 2,000 tanks to destroy the skyscrapers in Budapest just so the snipers would not be able to perch at the top of the skyscrapers and continue 
they're sniping. My point is that Russia played the victim to justify a much greater aggression uh, and uh, an oversized retaliation. Now for how the present-day deception, the Putin prignosian uh, act or theater, uh, how is that another case of Russia playing the victim? When the Wagner group pretended to launch a coup d'etat for a day or so and then pulled back, it caused chaos and confusion. Russia looked weak and leaderless, floundering, much less impressive than a superpower should look. It sets up the excuse that Putin needs. Uh, Russia looks vulnerable to uh, some kind of diabolical Western plot hell-bent on destroying Russia. In short, Russia is threatened by the West, an existential threat, according to Putin. After he bombs America, Putin will say, I was justified in hitting the West uh, because they were about to hit us. So we hit them first. Yes, so real as it sounds, Putin will use self-defense as his reason for launching a nuclear attack against the USA and then overrunning Western Europe. In other words, launching World War III. To reiterate what I've said, uh, Russia wants to pose as, as vulnerable a potential victim uh, so that Putin will have a crisis uh, on his hands that he can use to justify <coughs> justify launching World War III. This is where Prig no pig Prigozhin comes in and the Wagner group by them pretending to revolt against the regular Russian army and condemning uh, the top generals of uh, incompetence, uh, Prigozhin is helping Putin uh, uh, with a crisis that he needs. Uh, the West is sure to capitalize on this crisis, according to the Russian media. So uh, Putin is perfectly justified to launch a preemptive strike. Didn't the West give advanced weapons, uh, more and more advanced weapons to Ukraine? Didn't Putin warn the West that there would be, quote, unpredictable consequences, unquote. Well, now is the time in the midst of this supposed crisis, now is the time for Putin to man up and uh, back up those threats with direct action. Namely, the pressing of the nuclear button. But why should June 26 be the day? Because there's no need for 
a lot of time to pass uh, from the from the day that uh, the uh, insurrection began uh, and then was called off, uh, and also our Supreme Court uh, made an infamous decision eight years ago on this day, and maybe God wants to show his displeasure with that decision. Now for the good news. Five months after Russia launches nuclear war, Christ will appear over Jerusalem and the Russian soldiers invading Israel will see him in the sky and hear his voice and he will take possession of them. They will become his soldiers. He will send them back home to Russia to proclaim the glory that they have just witnessed. This is from Isaiah 66, 19. Revolution against Putin will follow. Look up Zechariah 14, verse 9. And Revelation 9, verse 5 and 10.